Hey guys, what's going on? Mumu here, and I'm here today on the newest addition to the FTB mod packs, which is Sky Adventures. Now, on this one, kind of like what I did with the intro video that I released a couple of days ago, I am doing a tips and tricks video on how to basically get yourself started on this mod pack because it's not like Sky Factory 3 or it's not like uh, Stone Block. It's, it's nothing like that. It's there's a bit more, I guess, strategy involved. It's not quite like, say, um, uh, Sevtech. It is nothing like Sevtech. Sevtech can just go off into another dimension on this situation here, but it's slightly more complicated than what you did back during Sky Factory 3 or in one of the latest ones released, not by FTB, but part of it for Stoneblock or whatever, but with this, it's slightly more different. Now, you spawn on an island like this, like I told you, uh, like I did in the intro video, you spawn on this uh, bedrock stone, you have yourself a little island here, you got a little pond area that you can potentially use as a cobblestone generator. Now, the first thing I'm going to say about the cobblestone generator is that I would suggest doubling it up right off the bat because you are going to go through cobblestone like no tomorrow at the beginning. So I would suggest doubling it up, have two little sections running in, uh, into the lava, just get cobblestone back to back to back to back to back. You want to stack up on this at the very beginning ASAP because it is definitely going to come in handy, especially when you get into the mob spawners that you, uh, that you have to build in order to do any sort of progression. Another thing is tree farms. Now you spawn with this big tree right here. If I'm remembering correctly, I think you get upwards of 30 wooden blocks from this tree and you have the potential to get multiple saplings. And speaking of the saplings part, whenever you get into your tree farming, uh, the crooks. Now, in other mod packs, we get the double compressed crooks. In this one, there is no double compressed crook. Okay, watch this. There's no double compressed crooks. The only crook you get is the regular style crook. We Later on, we do get dark crook, but that is made with um, dark steel. And at the very beginning, you have you don't have access to dark steel. Now you do get a bone crook, which can help out slightly at the very beginning. But you're just going to be making regular wooden crooks until you are able to get a dark steel to make a dark crook, which will do 2,000 durability. So that part it's going to be slightly frustrating, especially when you want to get uh, into the. Uh, uh, composting of the saplings to make dirt blocks because you're, you're you're also gonna need an insane amount of dirt I mean we already know that from previous island based mod packs you, you want a lot of dirt but I'm, I'm just giving you all a little heads up that double compressed crooks are not a thing in sky adventures you have the regular crook and that is it now when it does get to the point where you need to start making, like, uh, you, you need to have access to, like, clay so you can make uh, porcelain to do the crucibles, or you need to do grout. One thing that you want to do, when you have your, uh, when you have to make the barrels, I would suggest making multiples right then and there. Leave them exposed to the elements. Don't cover them up, because you're going to get a single clay chicken egg from a uh, challenge. It's only going to drop one clay ball like every 20 plus minutes you're going to be waste, waiting a long time so what i would suggest you do is that when you're uh trying to get into the part where you want to make some grout uh, go ahead and break down a bunch of cobblestone into dust now i would suggest go ahead and making like two stacks of dust maybe even more depending on how big you want your smell tree to be and like me, for instance, I like a basic 5x5 five five setting going at least 5 tall. So just a single stack of dust 
will not cut it. I will need a whole lot more than that. But I would suggest you go ahead and make yourself a bunch. Leave these barrels exposed to the elements so when it does start raining, the barrels will fill up fairly quickly. Here, I'll demonstrate for you real quick if it allows me. There we go. Now the barrels will fill up relatively quickly. It may, it'll take maybe 15 seconds for it to fill up and then you can just dust it up and get you some clay blocks which will give you the four clay balls out of them and there you go you'll be set but yeah it seems to be it seems it's about 15 ish seconds give or take uh whoops let's go ahead and toggle the rain again or yeah there we go so there we go you want to get yourself set up for that because while it's raining run to your chest that you have set for your dust and run to your barrels and start hitting that up to get your clay you want all that clay because otherwise you're going to be waiting a long time like i am not even kidding you're going to be waiting a long time now speaking of when it comes to barrels and stuff like that you may be thinking about the whole sieving part there is a challenge in here that requires you to make a string mesh don't start uh, sieving through your uh, gravel, your sand, or your dust at all. Go ahead and upgrade your string mesh to a um, flint stiffening mesh. The string mesh does nothing. And on top of that, don't even bother sieving sand or uh, or dust at all in the string me uh, in the flint stiffening mesh and stiffened mesh. Because you're not going to get anything. You're barely going to get anything with uh, just sieving regular gravel through the flint mesh. So the biggest thing you want to do is when you do get into sieving, upgrade to flint. Just go ahead and upgrade to flint. And by do, uh, in order to do that, you get your gravel uh, in a 3x3 three three, or in a 3 long and it gives you one flint. Go ahead and do that six times. You get your six flint. Here's your string mesh. Uh, in case y'all were wondering, it's the whole uh, three by three into it and makes the mesh. And go ahead and make yourself a flint stiffened mesh like that. And you're gonna. It's the same thing with the whole clay. You're not gonna get as much drops from sieving through the flint mesh like we used to. It. You're gonna be going through stacks upon stacks and you're barely going to get anything I mean out of one stack alone on my survival world I got like maybe four coal a few embers and like a couple of extra flint and barely 12 or 15 diversely in the uh, uh, in the ores division so you're going to be going through stacks upon stacks like easily 10 stacks just to uh, get to where you ha uh, have enough to get some iron and get some gold so you can go ahead and make a uh, uh, casting iron for your ingots you're just you're barely going to get anything out of this so whenever you have the ability to just sieve through all your gravel as much as possible get as much iron as you can or no yeah, go get as much iron as you can and go ahead and upgrade your mesh to iron. But you definitely want to get the diamond as soon as possible because that's just where you're going to get all your loot. Now, I don't know if the progression of loot increases drops per upgrade in mesh. But as far as I know, the flint stiffened mesh, it still gives you barely anything. But don't waste your sand and don't waste your dust on it because you're not going to get anything at all like there are no drops in it whatsoever uh, I don't believe I can look at it in here can I no I can't uh, give me one second Uh, you're not gonna show me at all? No. 
Why are you not showing? Oh wait, no, I got to sift. My bad. I am not a professional in this whatsoever. Yeah, look at this. I mean, you got your soul sand and all that stuff, but like you barely get anything sieving through anything or to make it easier. Uh, there we go. The flint, you can get uh, any of this in flint, but I mean, even the chances, I mean, even the 25% chance of getting flint is low. Like, I am not joking. You're not going to get much. You get better drops, per se, in the uh, iron division. I mean, look, it goes from 3, 7, iron has a 10%, but even then it's not even much. To you're already getting into the 10 the 15 percent and with the diamond everything's increased like no tomorrow but like sand for instance nothing you get cocoa beans you get a couple of uh, sapphire ruby peridot black quartz but even on like see with flint there's no flint it goes from string to iron to diamond. And then dust. You get string, but it only gives you bone mill and gunpowder. You don't really need that at the very beginning. Now, with the flint one, you can get skystone dust, but that's not too major. You can get the same thing when you get into iron, but you also get uh, electrotine and redstone. With diamond, you get everything. So, just whenever you get into sieving, just focus on your gravel, get your iron, and upgrade your mesh as soon as possible, because it, it's better on all three cases with iron. Uh, other than that, that's basically all I have in terms of just getting things started. Now, there might be a few things along into the future. Uh, I would go ahead and suggest y'all watching the intro video. I kind of go into how the island is kind of set up. Uh, but real quick, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll just go through that real quick. When you spawn on the island, go ahead and come over here. You're going to see this gravestone. Go ahead and break this apart. And when you do, you'll get a philosopher's stone. This will be useful later on into the... Uh, uh, later on in the um, challenges and everything. Fact. Let me change my game mode back. And when you get uh, when you come down here, this part right here, close, go away. But uh, come to the center part of the temple. Go down here. You'll find this chest. Go ahead and open it up. You get inscriber stuff. Right about here is where you break. There's another chest. That's where you get your water chicken and your lava egg. The, even the water chicken, it's going to take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes just for it to drop one water egg. Which is why I was saying when you get into, uh, like when you first start out and you end up getting your cobblestone generator up and running, go ahead and double up on that and just build up on your cobblestone. Like every 20, 30 minutes or so, you'll get another egg drop. The, it's literally a hassle at the very beginning so I know this, it was kind of long winded but I do hope that these little tips and tricks help you at the very beginning at least just to start off with and if you're interested I am doing a series I do also stream uh, I'll go ahead and put my twitch link in the description uh, feel free to drop by say hi all that kind of stuff if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe for future videos if you want to hit that little bell so you get notifications when I upload new content uh, if this was helpful at all if you have any more ideas for future content as well go ahead and put that in the comment section below I'll be checking those pretty religiously uh, and yeah I hope this was very helpful so like rate comment subscribe all that kind of good stuff and I will see y'all in my next upload. Later, guys.